Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for 5th of July 2022. If you'd like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos and all my trades and my portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's look at the WTI oil. And as you can see on Monday, we did rally quite a bit. We we're up. Uh, at roughly 11, uh, $111.10 a barrel, and we're trading just uh, underneath the 50 moving average. So breaking about the 50, then with the 20 simple moving average comes into play, that's $112. And after that, we may go back towards uh, the, the highs here. So we did break below uh, this trend line. We had a, uh, trend line here that we did break below and we're actually testing that the trend line at this current stage so if we get rejected at that point and then we may see this market dropping as WTI oil or oil in general is kind of the only commodity that hasn't fallen off a cliff we'll look at the natural gas in a moment uh, which definitely has is uh, where there's a bubble that basically is burst but you can look at everything else from copper, uh, palladium, wheat and so on everything has basically uh, fallen significantly in the last few weeks but oil is the um, last commodity that is still standing we, if we were to drop from here then the 200 moving average will most likely come into play First, we'll test it $100, which is right here. That is around this area right here. And then the 200 moving average. If that breaks, and then this market can fall basically far apart. We can look at what happens back in. Now we need to basically the, the weekly chart in order to see that. So expectations for the world economy is that we are the world economy is going to recession. The United States is most likely in a recession at the moment, and Europe is definitely most likely also in a recession. And China is not that far behind. Uh, so this is usually what happens when the world economy goes into recession. We have a massive spike here, but this was back in 2000, uh, 2006 to 2008, and then it just fell off a cliff. So, of course, there was a lot of speculation in this market, but also demand destruction was uh, what basically happened here. Well, one third of the world trade just stopped and and uh, therefore demand for oil just fell off a cliff. It did recover, of course, but it fell from $137 all the way down to $33. So we may see a very similar here uh, that if, if um, demand falls off cliff, then this basically the market will drop and it will drop significantly by 50 to probably 70 percent. But if we break above here, then we may go back towards the highs. So the question is whether or not we basically break above the 50 moving average and 20 simple moving average. So that's going to be uh, interesting to see. If we look at technical news, we can see the MACD is still bearish, just about to cross the signal in negative territory. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has a bounce from the 200 moving average, which should uh, not be surprising. It just completely collapsed and 200 moving average should be an area where we, we bounce. That is what usually happens question is how far this will go breaking above uh, 5.9 and then we may go towards uh, 6.8 and here we have the 20 simple moving average so we may head towards the 20 simple moving average and then head back down break below the 200 moving average or uh, close below the 200 moving average well then we could see this market dropping all the way down to four dollars or within in this area here which was major support in the past but before we saw this major rally here so going forward the next few months there should be uh, a lot of um, demand for um, u.s natural gas as europe is struggling uh, to get uh, grips with um, shortages uh, there should be a, a major demand for U.S. gas, but that is to be seen. At the moment, uh, they are not 
able to buy that gas, but but uh, it, didn't, it we'll see when in the October, uh, November, December whether or not we see another rally like this or even a bigger rally. Um, so, but at this current stage, we're looking at the short term. Uh, we can see that we could rally up towards the 20 simple if we break that and then we have the 50 moving average which will mostly move in this direction and that will be around the seven dollars that should be where we'll find major resistance breaking below the 200 well then we could drop all the way down to four dollars and that is probably where we'll uh, end up if you look at technical index we can see the macd is very bearish stochastic is becoming bullish and the rsi is bullish as well and there's a lot of room to the upside as we were significantly oversold. So hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck and thank you very much.